We begin our state coverage with KPBS reporter Matt Hoffman live in Ramona with an update on the situation here at home. Matt. Yeah, Jade, the National Weather Service safe issued that red flag warning until tomorrow with the Santa Ana winds coming in this dry, hot weather. You might hear it right now. It is a little windy out here. But basically, the red flag warning means that East County and North County are at an extremely high risk for wildfires. We could be seeing tonight and tomorrow morning winds as high as 50 miles per hour. And we actually have some breaking news for you right now. Originally, SDG &E expecting as nearly as many as 30,000 customers may lose their power. We've just been told that's dropped to 18,000 people, including customers right here in Ramona. Now, uh, we were out in Ramona today. We saw some businesses hooking up generators and preparing for a potential shutoff. sdg &E is looking to kill power in the hopes of preventing a fire from starting in the first place. We aren't seeing nearly as high numbers for shutoffs as customers in Northern California are. People we talked to today say they were notified about the potential shutoff and are basically preparing for the worst. One equipment business says people have been calling asking about getting generators. We got a lot of calls today and a lot of calls yesterday because they sent out the warnings, right? So everybody goes, how many generators do you have? Well, you know, we have several generators and um, we don't have enough to supply to need. There's no way. There's there's two other rail yards in this town. They don't have enough generators to supply to need. I don't know if there's enough generators in the whole county to supply to need that would, would be required to, so everybody would be protected if they cut off the power. So it's just one of those things is like it's the new reality. You know, I think people are adapting to it, but not they're not there yet you know that's why the panic and the phone calls that we get there's it's more of a, a panic you know they're, they're really worried what are we going to do the notice I got was from the health department letting us know that when the power goes off what the make sure that all of our food handlers understand if we shut down all the food preparation everything gets packed up and gets in the refrigerators and the refrigerators don't get open because they'll, they'll last four to six hours uh, most everything will be okay yeah, now you just heard there that'll last four to six hours for that one business owner. If the power shuts off after that four to six hours, though, he might actually have to start throwing stuff away. They did say, though, if the power was shut off in Ramona, they would like to actually give out some of that food before it goes bad. SDG &E also telling customers they want them to stay vigilant because these numbers, as we said, 18,000 customers right now that may have to have their power shut off, that could grow or shrink at any time depending on what these conditions are. Um, and uh, it, a reminder, too, if there are going to be shutoffs, it's likely going to be tonight or tomorrow morning when those conditions are at their worst. In Ramona, Matt Hoffman, KPBS News. All right, something we'll continue to follow. Matt, thanks.